This is 411, and we're supposed to use the superposition principle to find I0 and V0. So we're to find I0 and V0, that's here. And remember, the first step to superposition is to turn off all independent sources except for one. So here we have two independent sources. We have a current source and we have a voltage source. So I'm going to start off by turn, turning off the 30 volts. So we're going to turn that off. And uh, so let me draw the circuit here. We have six amps. And by turning off this voltage source, that becomes a short circuit. So we have four I naught here. Um, this is 10 ohms, 20 ohms. And uh, this is the voltage V naught across here. And we have the current I naught here. And this is 40 ohms, 40 ohms there. Okay. So let's call this point V1 and we'll call this point V2 and we'll call down here zero volts. So we have, we have I naught already going this way. Um, we're gonna have a current here, which we can call I1 and then we'll call this over here I2. So we have I naught and uh, I1 and I2. So let's go ahead and solve this. Let's look at this node first over here. So we're gonna do N minus out equals zero for this. And coming in we have six amps, six amps. And uh, going out we have I naught and also I1, both going out, and that is equal to zero. Okay, so I0 here is equal to, it's equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 10. That's the resistance there. And then I1 is nothing more than V1 divided by 40, and we'll set that equal to zero. Now we're gonna take this equation and we're gonna multiply it by 40. So that's 240 minus 4V1 plus 4V2 minus V1 equals zero. So that simplifies to 240 minus 5V1 plus 4V2 equals zero. And so let's hold on to that equation because we're gonna need that. We have two unknowns, two unknowns into this equation. So we need another uh, set of equation. We need one more equation to solve this. All right, so let's look at the node here and write KCL for this node. So we have I naught coming in which we've already written as V1 minus V2 divided by 10. That's coming in. And we also have this 4I0 coming in. And we know I0 is V1 minus V2 divided by 10. And then going out, we have the I2, which is just V2 divided by uh, 20 equals zero. So, Let's, uh, let's multiply this equation by, by 20. So we're gonna multiply by 20 here. Multiply this whole thing by 20. And that should give us 2V1 minus 2V2 um, plus 8V1 minus 8V2 minus V2 equals zero. That comes, simplifies to 10V1 
uh, minus 11 v2 equals zero. So what we get here is v1 is equal to 11 over 10 v2. And we can sub that in to this equation. And when we do that, we get 240 minus 5, 11 over 10, times v2 plus 4v2 equals 0. Um, so 5 times 11 divided by 10 plus 4. Um, so that comes out to uh, 9.5 V2 equals uh, 240. So 240 divided by 9.5. Is that right? No, that's not right. Let's do that again. So that is, let's try that again. Negative five times, five times 10 plus four. Five times 11 four. Okay. So that's 1.5 V2 equals 240. That is correct. So 240 divided by 1.5. So V2 is 160, which then uh, makes V1, if we go back and solve, V1 is 176 volts. So that's not our answer yet, but that's one part of our answer. So if we have our current or i naught is equal to i naught is equal to our uh, v1 minus v2 divided by uh, 10 so we can put that in i naught comes out to be uh, 16 divided by 10 which is 1.6 uh, amps and that makes V naught equal to 1.6 times 10, 16 volts. So these are the answers that we need for right now, 1.6 and 16. So now we'll go on to the second part of the problem where we'll take a look at the, uh, the next step. So if we take a look at the next step here, and we'll draw the circuit again. So we have the current source here, but we'll end up erasing that. We'll, we're solving this thing um, by turning that one off. So let's first draw out the circuit for I not, and then 20 and then we have whoop, 30 volts and uh, I think this is it and 10 ohms here 20 ohms here and 40 ohms here and so we need to turn off that current source here so we just erase this and it is now an open circuit and this is now an open circuit so we can use kcl kvl ho however we want here and since we have this current source um, here uh, it's really up to us what we want to use and this is v naught here and i naught here so um it's up to us so what do we want to do let's call this v1 here v1 and this is v2 and we'll call this our ground down here all right 
So what we know about this is uh, this point here is negative 30 volts. If this is zero volts, this needs to be negative 30 volts. And let's see, what else do we know? Okay. So let's perform our analysis and we'll say that this is I1 and we have I0 here and we'll perform KCL at this point here or at this point. So N minus out, we have N, we have I0 um, and in we have our four i naught, and then we also have i one coming in and nothing going out. So all of these i naught is equal to v one minus v two divided by ten. Um, we have four times v one minus v two divided by ten. That's because i naught here. That's that one, and then we have plus. Um, are negative 30 minus v2 equals or over 20 equals zero. So um, we can take this equation and we'll multiply it by 20. We'll multiply this by 20 and we get 2v1 minus 2v2 uh, plus 8v1 minus 8v2 minus 30 minus v2 equals zero. So combining some things, we have 10v1 um, minus 11v2 minus 30 equals zero. Okay, so that's one equation that we have. That's one equation. And we need to do KCL at another location. And we can do KCL here at this point where we have zero minus V1. That's the current coming in here current coming in here, zero minus V1 divided by 40 is equal to the stuff going out, the current going out, which is V1 minus V2 divided by 10. Okay. So solving this, we have uh, negative V1, equals 4v1 minus 4v2. Um, so that ends up being negative 5v1 equals negative 4v2. Um, these cancel and we have v1 is, uh, let's do V2. V2 is equal to five over four V1. And we can put that back into this equation here. And so that becomes 50 divided by four V1 minus 11 V, or I'm sorry, Wrong place to put that. We're putting this in here. Okay. Negative 11 times five, five divided by four. All right, so we have 10 V1 minus 111 uh, times five divided by four negative 13.75 V1 
minus 30 equals zero. And I believe, let's try one more time, 13.75. B1 comes out to negative eight, and that means V2, V2 is equal to five divided by four, which is equal to negative 10 volts. All right, so I naught, I naught here is equal to negative eight minus negative 10, divided by 10, I naught is then, that is two, two tenths uh, amps, and that makes V naught equal to two volts. Okay, so that is our first solution. So adding all this together from our first part, 16 plus 2 is 18 volts, and then I naught is equal to 1.6 uh, plus our 0.2 volts, and that is 1.8 amps. I'm sorry, 1.6 1, 1 amps plus 0.2 amps. So that is our solution for this problem 411 that makes a very long problem.